Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. And together we are K and K Crochet. And looky there. We started decorating for Christmas. It's Halloween today when I we're filming this. But you'll see this afterwards, so it's fine. So we did a live today. Um if you missed it, we were Hot Mess Express. That's kind of what happens, but it was a fun Halloween live. Um it wasn't a Halloween live, but it was fun on Halloween. Yeah. Anyway, That's so fun. today is a catch-up day because we are so far behind on everything. Um, life has been life and, and there's some things that even I forgot that we hadn't done. And I noticed when I watched another video, I was like, oh no. So bits and pieces of stuff are going to be thrown in different videos so you can catch up. So the first thing we're going to do is show this card and I'll let Kristen read it. It says, believe in the magic of Halloween." Meowloween. Oh, I'm not even showing it. And it says, have a spooktacular Halloween from Rebecca Yarn and Pajamas. Thank Look you, Rebecca. That's so cute. I and love him. Then there's some hats that were donated by Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, but I want to show what she gave us and uh, with that in this video because I have some other ones to show too. And so I thought, well, we'll do all the stitch markers in one go. So I got this one. And if you know, you know, I'm a huge snowman fan. I'm going to put them up closer so I can see all the details on them. And she makes yeah. these all by hand, um, not just the um, stitch marker. She makes the pieces of the stitch marker, like the beads and things. Those are glass. So she does lamp working, and they are absolutely gorgeous. And then this one, y'all got to see. I'm so in love with this. Look at that. Hey, the Look bumblebee. at that. It's so pretty. I love it. And a pink flower because Mama likes pink. I love it so much. Thank you, Spring. He's so cute. And I've had him uh, packed away because I didn't want to put him on my um, stitcher marker ring to use until I got to show him. He's absolutely gorgeous. So I love I him. I get to show mine. So me and Spring love green. So this one is all different shades of green with some brown and some gold worked up in there yeah i love it and then i also love blue this is a little penguin he's so cute i love penguins too this is adorable i love him so much thank you spring he's cute so those were hers and those are like i said that's her lamp working she stuff them and she is talented and she has a channel spring the fiber enthusiast you can go over and check that out Rebecca, who sent the card, Yarn and Pajamas. We'll link all that down below. And then I was sitting there, and we just finished Decade Divas Party 2024, which was with Shannon the Spinny Stitcher, Teresa at Critters Crochet, Ashley at Gwinspired Crochet, and Sonnet from the Silent Silence. And the other day I was watching uh, Sonnet from the Silent Silence, and she had actually done a Halloween swap with Shannon from the Spinny Stitcher and as she was going through the box she started showing things and there were stitch markers and I thought <gasps> first of all I couldn't remember where mine were and second of all we hadn't recorded them and Shannon had sent us some for participating in the Decade Divas and what had happened was the day that we got them from the mail we were babysitting at the grandbaby's house instead of our house and we got the mail and I stuck them down, or Kristen stuck them down in her project bag that she's working on something and forgot about them. And I, I looked at Kristen and I said, where are our stitch markers? When did we get them? What did we do with them? She said, oh, we got them while we were babysitting. And I stuck them down in my project bag. So um, she sent us a sweet little note. And then she sent us specific... Um, specific stitch markers for each of us. So I'll let Kristen share hers first. Okay. So we have this little ghost. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> a happy little ghost. He's a happy little ghost. And this beautiful little witch's hat. I like it. Most time you see witch's hats are black, but I like this one's red and orange. It's unique. And orange is our school color, yeah. so. And then I have this one. A witch's hat, too. I guess you could say pilgrim's hat, but I'd say witch's hat. Here's a witch's and then this one. Oh, this is cute. It's a little kitty riding a broom. <laughs> he looks happy, too. So I thought those were super stinking cute. Thank you. They're so I'm cute. not sure I have a, a lot of Halloween stitch markers. I might have a couple. I'm not sure. The reason I don't know is because I have a ton of Christmas ones. Because last year I did, um, I won the Christmas Advent Calendar from Cindy at Life and Your Entangled. And I, all of those were Christmas themed. 
I have a bunch of those. So thank you, Shannon from the Spoonie Stitcher for those stitch markers. Mm -hmm. And then um, in some other catch-up news, we had gotten a whole box of this sweet roll fruit yarn. And I didn't know who it was from. It was anonymous. It did not have a label to tell me who it was from. It came from the company. And um, then after the fact, after I posted and asked if, because, you know, sometimes people like to remain, bleh, remain anonymous, I was trying to figure out who it was from. And I said, it's okay if you don't want us to know. So I finally figured out who it was. And I wanted to look it up to make sure I said it right because I always get her channel confused with another channel and I wanted to make sure I got the name right. I know who she is. I know how to find her channel, but I always want to make sure, you know, channel names sometimes, um, if you get one word off, it won't send you the right place, but I will link her down below. But it is from Katrina at Mindful Crafts and More. And she said she just wanted to spread a little, a little love and joy and I uh, hope that it would help us to do that for somebody else and that's really really sweet and so we have been working with that Kristen worked up uh, I think worked on some on the Centro mm -hmm. and then I worked some with crochet so we're trying to figure out how best to use it all and to put it to good use so thank you for that and uh, that's gonna be our video for today this is just a catch-up of everything that's been going on I will say one more thing um, we took a poll over on the Facebook group because I had started the blanket for my son and it can't, turned out to be a half double crochet corner to corner. And if you've been around long enough, you'd notice I don't use a lot of half double crochet. I do half double crochet in the third loop. I do half double crochet when a pattern calls for it, but I don't intentionally use it on something I'm making up because I don't like half double crochet. My crochet hook gets caught on the third loop every time. I don't enjoy it at all. I like double crochet and single. So I like double because it grows faster. And so I was trying to get through it. I didn't know it was half double crochet until after I'd gotten the pattern and trying to figure it out. And already on the yarn. Already bought the yarn. So it started out as I was going to do the one pattern of the deer just like I did for my youngest son. And I was going to use a um, cafe latte. Is that what it is? Yes, cafe latte. In no, red. you were going to use a bitty. No, it started stripes. out cafe latte. Oh, cafe that was latte. a second version red heart and then I, for the deer and I was going to use black for the outer color. Then I decided when I went to Joanne's no I would do um a itty the bitty red heart stripes. bitty stripes and it was in like a, a, a cream looking with a little bit of brown thrown in here and there and I was going to use that as the fall background and then use the cafe latte for the deer. And I was afraid that they would overlap each other and you wouldn't be able to see it much. I also thought that the bitty stripes would be a pretty fall background color. No. Too much white and cream. It did not work. So I ordered black instead from Joann's after I I bought the itty bitty or the itty bitty, that's not the name of it. The bitty stripes. I bought that and brought it home and then decided nope that was not for me. And then I bought black to do the background instead. Still, and I had decided since then from the first, well, I'll back up a little bit. The reason I did the the change in colors is because I changed the pattern too. I changed to a full-size deer. So then I'm still on the full-size deer. I start the project with black and uh, cafe latte. I hate it. I hate it. I hate working a half double crochet corner to corner. So I put a poll up on the, the group and everybody said, give it up. It's not worth wasting your time on because I knew it was going to take me forever. And I'm still spinning my wheels, but I have gone back to the original pattern. Instead of the full deer, it's the head. And I have got, and it's black and cafe latte. So I'm working on that. So that's where the corner to corner stands. I have that one and one more that I may or may not finish before Christmas and it's fine either way. So... That's where we stand with those. And that's an update for the day on everything that's going on that, um, yeah. And there will be a BMO update. We have 1,210 hats at this point, and we need 290 by November 24th. So if you still have them to send and want to send them, that's great. And if you can't donate to us and don't want to do the shipping, that's fine. Donate locally. Um, give to who you can. And we hope you all have a blessed day. And don't forget to be kind because you know who else is dirty. Bye. Bye, guys.